Hello, hi, how are you today? You know what? Are we all glad that this portal ended? Oh my goodness. So if you have spent the better part of past season reorganizing, kudos to you. However, a lot of people have not known what they need to reorganize. And when these energies shove forward, they really shove you because it's a little bit like walking away and leaving certain things undone because your soul is just done with certain things. However, there's something to know and it is restructuring. Now the restructure includes your light body, your physical body, and it includes your brand new um, mental emotional connections to the world. That means to your family, your friends, your colleagues, people at work, people who could be clients, etc. A lot of these relationships are going to break up. And breakups are hard, but they don't have to be as hard as you might think without using your light body. So I am the person that teaches you how to truly use your twin flamey energies to do this in the highest and best possible way for everybody concerned. Don't know what I'm talking about? Well, let me break it down for you first of all, okay? This has to do with structuring yourself to be an ascending being and to be someone who still has to work in the world or earn a living, raise your kids, deal with family, and you're going to find something to be true. The way that you awakened is not the way that others have awakened or will be awakening. They're going to have breakdowns. So you could either get pulled down by them or you could take the magic leap and do it in the highest and best way possible, which is the modality that I teach. Now, let's give you some examples, okay? You could have people at work and suddenly someone gets sick and it throws everyone into a tizzy because now the routine is off. The um, reliance upon like each person and do their tasks, it falls to other people. And a lot of workplaces are like this. Everybody's wearing a lot of hats. They're multitasking even if they don't want to. The squeezes on places are tightening their belts and the irony is that people are looking for help and yet, you know, there's a lot of like miscommunication out there. There's layers and layers, right? So what does this lead to? It leads to tension, it leads to upset, it leads to strained relationships and then you're supposed to go home and be kind to your family and not feel stressed or drive in traffic and not feel stressed or turn on the radio and hear all the bad news of the world and it's just on okay it's on because those things the old structure it's been moved it's like the rug has been pulled out from under a lot of things a lot of places a lot of people in many ways it's not the rug being pulled out it's being their essence being drawn toward them so when we talk about timelines are collapsing, in those timelines, you may have your essence and then you pull it back to yourself. As it comes back, it can feel like a rush of energy. It can be pushy, it can be turbulent. It's gonna wake you at night. You have to learn how to integrate it, which by the way, that's also what I teach. And then you also have to be able to implement it because within that, those are things that belong to you. It's your essence. It's a part of you. It's your skills. It's your gifts. It's overwhelming. A lot of this energy has got so pushy, it's overwhelming, and you don't know which end is up, what to do first. Okay, how do you properly decompress? And furthermore, this can really distract you from what it is you're really here for, love. Okay, I needed that reminder. I always need that reminder too. You got woken up for love, not to go, da, 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 I'm going to go save the world. No, you have to save yourself first. You have to do the things for yourself and sometimes by yourself. A lot of times it's by yourself, even if it's in one of my group classes, 
you're kind of by yourself with the guidance that comes for you because where this person is at you can have differences where she's at and where she's at it's different they're two different places because first of all she's an ophanum she's a seraphim they're two different types of angelics she's been here to planet earth more frequently this is kind of like her first rodeo but how do they align or how do they each get the guidance that they need for the particular points where they are at in their journey this one's a little more ascended she's a little bit at a different vibe she's at a higher vibration not her first rodeo this one is sort of shell-shocked oh my goodness i just don't know how to handle this but i'm a light being i'm the light and the love here why is everybody being mean i know right it feels like you're being persecuted i just don't understand how why do i deserve this tension everyone's picking on me everyone it can feel like that and it can feel even worse than that because it can come up in your family i have a really good example a friend gave me an ancestry kit which I even hesitated with. I was like, do I want to do this? Do I want to not do that? I wanted to do it. I wanted to find out stuff. Okay, so then I got a hit from a kind of like close but distant relative cousin. And it was from halfway around the world. And I was like, wow, you know, how exotic. I love exotic things, right? And it turns out we're a lot alike. And as it turns out, when I started asking my other family members about information, they got triggered big time. My brother started remembering all the times like the other males in the family gave him guff or leaned on him or criticized him. It was not a joyful thing for him. My mother remembered how my grandfather drank so heavily. He was never a help. He was one of these guys that would drink and like smoke a cigarette, fall asleep on the sofa, scorched it many times, was this close to setting the house on fire. Never happened, thank goodness. You know, and like people remember these things, these weird triggering things come up and then that anger wells up, right? I'm here to help you stay the course because if you cannot utilize your brand new light body to help you rid yourself of all the old stuff, to help keep you stable on your day-to-day -day basis, and we're talking about proper anger management and regulation. We're talking about being able to work and like let everything ping off you, like bing, bing, bing. It just deflects from you, not from others. They got to deal with it in their way. We're dealing with it in new ways. Being mindful, which means this. You're aware. You're aware of your surroundings. You are much more aware of nuances within interactions, tones of voice, facial expressions. It's not even about hidden meanings or code, like do you have to decode it? It is. It gets so much simpler when you work with your light body because your light body will tell you things like just walk this person's like just babbling whereas the old you would be like how do i decode this man speak or how do i decode this woman speak like what are they really meaning too many people try to do that with their twin flame like you don't need to decode it what you need is to allow it to flow through you that is my expertise what about all the other stuff that it brings up do you know how many people have anxiety on the job they're taking medications now just for the record i am not opposed to medications medications have proven to be life improving for a lot of people a lot of people would like to wean off of it. And that is the general nature of your angelic light body. Your twin flame body, it wants love. It doesn't want chemistry, but sometimes you need the chemistry. Wouldn't you like to do it where it feels natural and it's at the natural point, right? So anxiety, anxiety, depression, panic attacks, you know, like there's a whole thing where it starts making you feel like, Am I evolving or am I devolving? It's on. What about family? 
oh my god i had this thing with with my mother my whole life oh yeah mother stuff mother child stuff yeah that can be pretty intense oh no you don't understand she has felt like my sworn blood enemy i just don't know how to deal with her and no the holidays are coming <gasps> the holidays are coming yes so if you would like please stay tuned and get my free little ebook here managing anger for working parents a lot of tips in here but also please consider hearing more about my upcoming class which is intended to help you with relationships holiday stresses work stresses family stresses stress management anger management mindfulness we take that to another level plus there's two of you so whether or not you really feel like well i'm in touch 2024 is one of the hugest gates that you are ever going to experience so far and then there's more after that so i'm here to help i'm here to help you stay the course i'm here to help you really feel the way this is supposed to feel so check it out and i would love some questions okay the best way is email me the questions then i can speak the questions publicly and watch for what's really going on okay because when you break away from the fourth dimension it can get really weird your messages can get weird i'm here to help you simplify it and bring it to love the part of you that loves you the part of you that cares about you the inner part the outer part the above part i had someone say to me so is your light body sort of like a gingerbread person figure over i'm like yeah if that works for you i don't care how you like think of it as but what i want to do is make you feel and make you feel like this is working for you and that you're the magic angelic and that someday you can turn around and be that angel for other people our kids need angels like you so thanks so much for watching have a great day. Bye.